Hey folks, welcome back. It's another week of GeoGuessr. Thank you all for joining us this week. Fresh off my trou uh, trouncing, uh, emphatic victory. Hold on, Mozart's getting pretty hot. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Right about there. After my emphatic win, you don't care about that. You're just to see. You're just here to see more guests around the world, and we're starting that now. And here we go. It's been a couple, it's been over a week since I last did this, so I don't know how uh, unrusty I'll be. That's a word, right? Um, come on. What language is this? Raj Pichi Nequin? Why do I feel you might be Turkish? This is questionable if you're Turkish. I don't know. Where's that truck? You got a Red Bull thing in your back? I'm wasting too much time here, but I'm committed. I need to know what this is. Because whatever this... Um, weird bending machine thing is... Uh, I'm not going to find... Alright. Enough of that. Spend a minute on that. We, we move on. Uh, hope everyone had a good week. I know I did. Honestly, I, I couldn't tell you what, what I did, other than just existed, as exciting as that is. Um, let's move back a bit more. I am having- this is- I feel I'm going to be so off on this one. I just feel it. Like, this is either Turkey, or this is going to be straight up, like, Argentina or something. This one, I'm not holding much hope out for this this guess in particular, but we'll click as fast as I can to get somewhere down the line here to see if we can actually uh, see anything. Because this very well could be, it's arid scrubland, I think it's called that. We are definitely going backwards. That was a sign. Does it have... I, I don't know why I'm looking to see if it has metri metric on it. I've already seen a bunch of gibberish I don't understand on here. Yeah, no passing. Whoa, why am I going backwards? Help me out here. This is another one of these roads I can see myself seeing shit in the middle of the night. I'm driving down this. This is all the perfect location for... Ooh, sign. Give me something. Alright, this... Uh... Chopahue? Cavihue? Maybe that, that sounds like it could be Mexican. It also could be down there. This is, this is a rough one. As I've stated many times already. Did we just get into crappy... Let's zoom out a bit. Oh, we're not there yet. Albergue. God, I feel like that's... I feel like that's down here. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the conservative thing and just split the wicket between Chile and Argentina. Oof. I needed this to slap in the face to be all... I was so cocky last week, and I'm like, Ah, it's GeoGuessr, this is easy. And they're like, oh yeah? Think you know your stuff? How about early terraforming on Mars? This is what it's going to look like. I'm off the road. This is... One hell of a patch of nothing. Let's keep... I don't think I'm going to see anything in 10 seconds. I'm committed to here. I'm 100% okay with it just being Peru. Eh, make guess. I'm happy. Oh well, my god, I don't deserve this. That one's a rough one. I think I would enjoy... Oh, wait. Uh, I always get confused. It's Inca. Inca's down here. Aztec is more central uh, North America, or southern North America. In the, uh, ooh, what is this? Um, nothing yet. This is probably European, just from the... Is that like a train just went above me? This could... Oh. Well, it's not America. 
Or well, what are the other ones? Um, Gabon. No, there's like three, three or seven countries that don't have uh, that use it. the imperial. No, it's not imperial. Is it imperial? I'm again. I, I'm messing myself up thinking. How do I? Who had what? Standard. An imperial. All right. Grand song, grand sang. I'm gonna say it with a bad accent. Backerid, esperid. This could be German. I haven't seen any umlauts or little slashes through O's. I don't know what those are called. Is it like er for the O's when you say those things? I don't know. I had a hard enough time learning English as it is. I don't know if I could, at my age and my consternation that I have, put myself through like it's like it, it like it's a hard thing. Put myself through, actually commit to learning another language. Like I know that they have uh, that app on your phone, Duolingo. Everyone seems to think that that's a pretty decent little app. I tried it for like five seconds and then. Me being a cheapskate and not bothering to get a uh, phone with anything more than two gigs of memory on it because I never use my phone for anything. Yeah, this is probably Norway, I'm going to say. No, because these aren't blue. They have to be blue. As a great man once said, he drew the duck blue because he wanted to see one. Sorry, that was a bit silly. Um... Street Festival, and, uh, we're in Welcome to... Like, I should know... Najo? Naso? Najho? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your language. I'm just a silly, silly American here. So, I haven't seen any of the numbers yet to help me out here. Maybe I have, and I'm just not paying attention now. I'm gonna just put you there next to store, Tuna Store. But Duolingo thing, everyone seems to uh, think, yeah, it's a decent program, but maybe it's just my old, come on, thank you, my old brain just being like, how can this little app that gives you like a word a day actually work for learning the language? Like, I don't understand, but I think that's just the start of me passing the baton from younger me to older me who's accepting, willing to try new things, and old me who's just like, ah, it's dumb. All right, every, every answer to a question, what is that, 47? That's 47. Najho, help me out here in 30 seconds. Where, instead of well, being old people, okay, this is 47. Uh, we're turning, we are heading West. God, I'm an idiot. So, Najho. I think I'm, I'm going to click here just so I don't forget. I'm just going to click right there. I'm okay with this. There's Najho. But, anyway, going to the baton from... This is probably America. Yeah! This is Department of Public Safety. This is probably the municipal... Uh, oh, there's a flag. I should know. Oh, well. Well. Yeah. But I always wonder where that, ste that step happens in most people's lives. Like, when does... Or when do people stop where the mentality changed from, like, uh... What's this? I'm reading? No. So I know I'm in Missouri. I'm gonna this this like I don't need to leave this area because this this is like the, te uh, the this is the center of town and it should tell me what to do and where to go. But I'm gonna I swear I'm gonna finish this thought as I just hover around this building like a creep. That somewhere along the line, at least your mind and your I should just go to the center of town here. It's gonna have info for me. But you no longer think, yeah, that's cool, or 
Does it start with music when like new music fads kick in and you're just like, what the hell is this? Instead of being like, hey, this is kind of cool. I kind of like the way this sounds. And you're like, ah, this is garbage. This is the first time you say they don't make music like they used to. Like, I kind of had that with dubstep. I don't think it's fair. But I was just like, oh, it just sounds like a bunch of whops and whoops. It doesn't really sound like it goes anywhere, but... I, I heard a pretty decent explanation as to... How to approach it. I don't know if even that is, uh... Is that, oh, I thought that was Zelda. I don't even know if that's, um... Being dismissive to it. Either? Why does it say, like, New Zealand? I don't know. Being like, eh, you should just kind of think of it as a fun... Kind of... What is this? Kathleen Manor. Give him a call if you need some apartments. But I think that was the first step for me. And then it kind of, that's when you first notice it. And then the second one is, I don't know, this isn't as much of a big deal now as it was when I was a kid. But all the time when you're a kid on your local TV stations, when the only type of advertisements they could afford are the ones for like uh, those time life. This is even a thing you probably don't hear of much anymore. I'm just looking for something to tell me what town this is. The Time Life things for the oldies albums are like, uh, the best ofs of a decade or whatnot. This is rural. Rural. I'm gonna click down in the south for no reason whatsoever. Where, the first real time you can tell, okay, I'm, I'm old is when a sign that you really liked as a kid is on one of those compilations. Then you just know, well, that's the first sign. And then the next sign is when you get to the classic, would it be classic rock, classic country, whatever you seem to like listening to, when the songs that you liked start getting on the classic, uh, someone give me a town name. Anything. But when the classical, the, excuse me, the songs that you thought were classical, not the classical like the music that's playing in the background of this, start being played on that stuff, or like right next to, say, Led Zeppelin, you hear Nirvana, and you're like, wait a minute. That's not how this works. Give me a town, please. I'm desperate. I mean, where is indiscriminate Missouri? I don't know. I don't see any water anywhere, but I've done like four blocks. Um, I should just go for the center, because I think the center... Oh, I'm just going to make my guess. Here we go. Yeah, I mean... I had nothing here. I didn't see anything to let me know that this was Saskatoon or S Sick Sykeston. Yeah, we'll go with that. Next round. I don't know if I'm gonna break two thousand or no. I'm definitely not gonna break uh, twenty thousand this time. Oof! Is this Australia? That's the first step as far as music goes. Then right after that, you get to other things like when I was a kid, I hated coffee. I hated seltzer because it tasted like nothing. And they say when you get older, your your taste buds definitely do start to dull because you're old. That's what's going to happen. And it wasn't more than, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe th uh, three or four years ago is when I kind of officially declared, yep, every last little shred of non-adulthood has kind of just gone out the door as far as, um, I don't know, body things like taste is that a brain is that like a brain or a body thing i don't know but then I, I i've hated coffee the only part of thing of coffee i actually liked was uh this is giving me nothing the only thing of coffee i actually liked was ice cream but now i just dove head in and now i just like that cold brew stuff which actually looking at we're, we're losing it we're, we're losing oh, what the hell's the word losing pace with the mac truck in front of us but now I've gone straight into cold brew, which is just like, uh, concentrated? It's almost like soda syrup. You just let it seep in cold water. I mean, I don't know. I didn't really read too much into it. Give me anything, please. Speed limits. Form one lane. I thought that said ferm, and I'm like, wait, is this, is this France? But nothing. No signs. No nothing. Is this... Us, oh, sign. This is just probably keep left, keep left unless overtaking. Yep, yeah, that's all that says. Why did I go back? I saw a Mack truck. I'm going to hope that 
there's something on said truck. Help me out here, please. Twiddles? Twisties? Um... Do Australians like twisties? I mean, I don't know. I've never heard of twisties. They're like bugles, because bugles are fucking gross. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but... Yep, Australia. All right. Dot .au. Thank you. Now! Where exactly is we? Could we be on Perth? Or could we be in Desolation Town? Population... Couple of kangaroos? I don't know. This could be anywhere. I, well, anywhere in Australia, excuse me. But, oop, sign, what's this? Overtake 500 meters. Are we, are we gonna overtake Mr. Google? Google car, ooh, 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 ooh. Let's back up on little, thank you. Jurian, not to be confused with durian. Which is something I would actually like to try. If you don't know what durian is, it is notorious for being. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, Ginjin in Perth. So we're heading south. So we're along here on Route 1. So we were coming off Route 1. Ed Nava. Let's see if Ed Nava's down here. But durian itself. It smells like garbage, but apparently is real. It's actually good. Like it, it's kind of like cheesecake. I think someone mentions it, but you can't like keep it in your house. And they 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 kind of sell it around here. How how big is the Route One here? Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> uh. You know, when this has been an issue before, probably like episode two or three, when I just forget to click. And then I talk about dumb shit like durian and nobody, nobody cares. I'm going to give this that much. I, I definitely could have broken 20,000, but I'm not going to today. In fact, I'm going to wallow in this mud pit in probably Russia because I deserve it. I can pay attention. You gotta remember to look at the clock, not talk about durian, as we go through this logging road, as we overtake motorcycle. Come back, motorcycle. I want to talk to you. Are you a three-wheeler? They don't make those anymore. What's up, buddy? Tell us where we are. Uh, you're not helpful. Why bother putting this single sign here? I'm just moping now, I'm sorry. Like, hey, it's kilometer three. No one goes down this road, you don't need to put this here. And then, who was like, yeah, we're about 20,000 miles from, or kilometers away from anything, let's, let's put some, let's put some houses together. Next to, Uvartovka, Uvartovka. That's O O. V A R O V K A. Again, I say it and then it just never registers in my head because I'm, I'm an idiot. Eh, I mean there. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get any more information that's gonna tell me where exactly. I've made this point before as far as Russia. You, even if you know Russia, you've lived there your entire life. You've traveled most of the country. You've seen all, all there is here. You've been on the Siberian Railway. Maybe you even worked in a in one of those camps there. You touristed there. I don't know. Everyone's got hobbies. I'm not here to judge. You could even see this thing on a sign here, and you'll have no friggin' idea where exactly this is. Hey, up here we're actually keeping track of kilometers. I mean, I guess it's a sign to keep. Let's just take in the, the road here. Listen to some Beethoven, I guess. Look at some more language. That's S H E V I N S K A Y A. Stevnishkya? Maybe? Kyaya? Because 
It's K-A-Y-A. The backwards R is Ya. What do we even... What do we do here? What is this car here for? Anybody live here? Why is there tin foil for windows? And you're keeping the aliens from getting you? At some point, was this like a... Factory? Like, it's always... A, interesting when they do this piping stuff like we don't want to dig but somehow this is more economical yeah I, mean, I don't know i'm sure it made sense when they built it but now it's just kind of like ugh. why do we have ladders on the roof I mean, i'm not an architect i don't know there's there's a really practical reason for it but i'm never gonna know i mean i can understand having it on there to get the snow off but you would need it to climb up there not to have it already be there. Dumb logic. Hear me out. This feels like... No, that's a nurse's smock, I believe. So I'm not going to say that this is more central. But I'm going to because I don't care. This 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 round has already been sullied by my awful idiotness. This talking about, hey, look at this. Look at this lady. All ready to sell her goods. Hopefully, whoever's going to come to Oh, that's magazine. M-A-G-A. -A. Yep. Yeah. I mean, how was I going to know? Does it actually say... Yep, there it is. That's... that's. I was Shevin Skaya. Skaya. Yeah, whatever. I'll give it two stars. And see my summary. I'm real mad about this. I could have easily gotten way more points than this, it, but I'm just... I'm just dumb. I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry, folks. You deserve better. Even if it doesn't come from me, demand better. But that's Monday. Mondays are always shit. Doesn't matter if you're playing this game, or if you're just getting off work, or maybe going to work. I don't judge. I don't know what your shifts are. I don't know your time zones either. Thank you for hanging out with me, giving me your time to watch this. And again, we're going to come back Wednesday for some more GeoGuessr. Hopefully I won't disappoint you. Hopefully your week went better. Maybe it's still going great. I'm not going to assume Monday's any bad. Uh, was bad. Who knows? Maybe it's your start of your weekend. I'm done. I'm done rambling. I'm sorry. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on Wednesday. Let's beat 16650. Goodbye.